Hey everybody, it's Bronwyn from The Sentry Box, and today I'll be talking about Seven Wonders. Seven Wonders is a really great gateway game because it's really easy once you get the hang of it. There are three different ages. At the start of each age, you will be dealt out seven cards and you will choose one of them. That will then go on your board and then you pass the pile. The directions in which you pass will change age to age, so that way you're not stuck always getting the same things from the people beside you. And the first stage is that's when you're gonna be getting a lot of the resource cards. So as soon as you have them out in front of you, you can use them as a currency to be able to build other cards that might have a cost. There's you know different things from like wood to stone to the fancier resources like paper and silk. You wanna get a good variety, but don't worry if you don't have all of them because you can pay your neighbors to be able to use one of their resources. And it has no effect on them other than that they get some money because they can still use that resource on their turn, which is really great. Like there's not a lot you can do to screw somebody up. There are military cards that you can be putting in front of you. So at the end of each age, you will see who has more military power on either side of you. So let's say I had less than the person to my left, I lose a point and they get some points. And let's say I had more than the person on my right, I would get some points and they would lose some points. So it's really interesting how you play the game strategy-wise because who you're next to is going to start affecting what cards you're choosing. There's also some set collection cards and there's buildings that just give straight up points, others give discounts, others combo with whatever cards you've been playing. A little bit like how Puerto Rico works in that if you've chosen to specialize in a way, there's probably a game and scoring card that's gonna really help you if you can get your hands on it. The other part is, you know, if the cards that you have to choose from, you don't really want any of them, that's great, because that means you can probably spend that card to build your monument. There's three different stages to it. Each civilization gives a different bonus. So it's really interesting trying to balance building the monument or not building the monument. Sometimes I'm really lazy and I go for set collection instead. So there's a lot of different ways you can be playing the game and winning the game. It's for two to seven players and because you're all taking your turns at the same time, no matter how many extra players it is, it still is only gonna take about half an hour to play, which is a really awesome mechanic, especially when you're playing a game with seven people. Usually you A, can't find a game that has that many people supported, or it takes a million years if you're playing with seven people. It's best with about four or five people, just cause you can potentially get your hand back, it's for ages about 10 and up. There's really not a lot of reading. The only reading is the prerequisites to other cards, um, which allows you to do some planning on things that you might want later, or just making sure you don't have redundant buildings because you can't have that. So other than that, it's really easy for kids to play. And because it's a short game, and there isn't a huge amount you can do to strategize long-term. It's more reacting to what you have and how that fits into your overall strategy. The replay value on the game is medium to high. You're never gonna get through all the cards because other people keep taking them. And it really depends on what you're dealt, how your game might change and how who you're beside is gonna change your game. The boards are double-sided as well as there's a bunch of civilizations to be going through and using the special powers differently. So that's Seven Wonders. Tell us what you think of the game and what game you want to see us do next.